Okay, we had the coolest experience last week. Our friend Melanie Longmore, who's in the labor and delivery unit over at LDS Hospital, brought in some placenta. You guys right? to get it? to see. It she was brave. Was Michelle unbelievable. touched it. Nisha and I more had our gloves and we're like, oh, that's really interesting. But oh, you got right I was into like, it. It so. was so fast. My sister-in-law just had a baby, so it was like, oh my gosh, this is like what happened. And it's, it's, well, it's so crazy. fascinating. I mean, we all spent nine months with placenta when we were in the womb. So yeah. now we got to spend a couple yep. of minutes with it last week. So check it out. Okay, I was so excited. My friend Melanie Longmore is here with LDS Hospital. She's in the labor and delivery unit. Can you tell everyone what you have brought today? <laughs> well, we're and why we're gloved up with our glasses <laughs> why we look so amazing. and everything, Melanie. All ready to go. Well, I have brought two placentas from two different um, pregnancies, and I am really excited to show these because the placenta is probably one of the most underappreciated organs that a woman has. Absolutely, but Melanie. I don't know if I saw mine after. I think I looked away. Really? Uh, yeah, Can I, I did. This is the clo I think this is the closest I've this ever is been. So <laughs> amazing. <laughs> placenta. Well, my doctor actually pulls mine out after the delivery. When they're doing all this stuff, like checking the baby's vitals, she brings me my placenta oh. and explains it to me. And it is the coolest process. I want it you to really explain is. to people more about their placenta. It really is. And most women, I don't think, have the opportunity or take the opportunity to look at the placenta because they're busy with the baby. That's so, a good distraction. Yeah, definitely. Say. It's heavier. These, you guys, these are placentas from women who delivered last, last night. And it's heavier than I thought, Melanie. It's about two to three pounds. Can I hold it? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. You're a brave girl. Oh and a placenta has two gosh. different sides to it. The side that's up against the baby is this shiny wow. side. And we call it the shiny Schultz, just to help us remember which side is the baby's. And then this side is called Dirty Duncan because it's kind of yucky looking, and that's up against mom. So what is so, all that in there? So it's connective tissue and vessels. And when wow. your water bag breaks, this is actually the water bag. This is the water bag. So so that's why right? it's that's amazing. full of fluid. It's full of fluid, and it's oh about a, a liter of fluid that is contained inside in a normal pregnancy. And does baby so, make it break? Like baby's pushing on it? Baby, where does it break? Usually? Yeah, so it'll break at the opening usually um, of the cervix. Okay. Sometimes a balloon of pressure is created. Created and that's what breaks the water mm -hmm. bag. You know, so my water is never broken. Any pregnancy, my doctor always has to Mine break. Did. Really? Water. Water. I want to have one of those moments where you're <laughs> a movie moment where your hospital, you know, you have to run to the hospital because your water broke. But sometimes I, uh, it's a quick movie moment yeah. too. <laughs> it breaks and you've got to get there. Definitely. Is this the cord? Is so that this the? is the cord, and this is just a portion of it. Part of it is cut off for testing. But the thing that I think is really interesting, and I don't know if the camera can catch it, but there are two arteries and one vein and the two arteries are what carry um, the waste products away from the baby and the vein is what carries the oxygenation and the nutrients to the baby so both of these placentas are fairly um, healthy looking placentas but one of them you can kind of see there's this band of calcification around it what and there's these mean? little white dots yeah um sometimes calcification can occur when the pregnancy is overdue a placenta is only meant to last for so long for about 40 weeks when somebody goes overdue calcifications can develop also if someone's a smoker um, they'll develop calcifications, and those are places where vessel um, nutrients cannot get through anymore. Okay, let me ask you this. We've heard about the benefits of eating the placenta. Do yes. women have their baby at LDS Hospital and say, can I take this home? There are some that do, and we do allow them to do that. They sign a release of remains form what? saying that it's their responsibility to care oh, for it. Did you say release of remains? Yes. The release of your remains. Yes. <laughs> Well, sometimes somebody maybe wants to take their kidney home or their yeah, tonsils, it. so it's I the want same a trophy. Form. <laughs> I want to be with you. I want to be with you on the eating and have an open mind. But right now, yes. I'm struggling. This yeah, so I'm struggling with most it. Most of us do, and we're still looking. I've really searched hard for the research that behind why people eat it. They say that it helps with postpartum depression, um, and maybe it's a placebo effect, and maybe it really does work. But I need to see more research. Uh, at more questions and anything, of course, at Labor and Delivery at LDS Hospital, you need to know they can help you with. Go to ldshospital.org or go to our website, goodforyoutah.com slash GTU. I, we've never done this in 12 years on this Good Things Utah. We never had it this. It is about time. Never had this it's on so the show. Cool. It's amazing. Thank you. You Thank are you for very welcome. Here. All right, and coming up next on Good Things Utah, if you had one beauty wish, what would it be? We have a product that can get rid of those pesky wrinkles in just 60 seconds. It's coming up later on Good Things Utah.